Hi, I'm Steve Eunice. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video, bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from May 26th to June 1st, 2021. Our top news stories this week included Wale Parks talks about the big reveal for his character on Superman and Lois. We have all the info on DC's next big event, Infinite Frontier. And we check out the Superman listings in DC's August solicitations. Let's check out all these news stories and more, but before we push on, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. In movie news, a reminder that the Superman in Concert event, which was scheduled to take place at the Royal Albert Concert Hall in London, England on Tuesday, October 27th, was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic and was originally supposed to take place on Saturday, March 27th this year. The concert was pushed back even further and is now scheduled to take place on Friday, July 16th. Head to our website to purchase your tickets. Fans living in Pennsylvania might like to know that Superman the Movie will screen at the Majestic Gettysburg in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on Wednesday, June 2nd at 7.30pm. Tickets are just $7. In TV news, Superman homepage reviewer Neil Bailey reviewed last week's episode of Superman and Lois. Titled Man of Steel, Neil gave it a 2 out of 5 saying, There are some good things here, great acting, top-notch cinematography, fun music, a great twist. The writing is entirely abysmal, but the rest is tolerably good in many ways. And you can read his full review at our website. Last week's episode of Superman and Lois revealed the true identity of the stranger, who we thought was Captain Luthor. And if you haven't seen the episode, you might want to skip ahead. For everyone else, while we're led to believe that Captain Luthor was Lex Luthor from another Earth, we now know that he's actually John Henry Irons. In an interview with TVLine.com, actor Wale Parks talks about the moment he found out who his character was. He said, When they told me I was going to be playing John Henry Irons, I was overwhelmed, a little emotional. I remember growing up with him, but it's not just me anymore. There are other kids who grew up with this character, and there are kids growing up now who will know a different version of it. The responsibility is crazy. This is by far my most important role, if I want to phrase it that way, and I don't take that lightly. The latest episode of Superman and Lois aired in the US last night, titled Holding the Wrench. Here's the official promo trailer. Do you think I'll turn on humanity? Our worlds are different. Our Superman would never turn on us. I was one second away from being dead. What happened on my world is already happening on this one. Look for Neil's review to be published on our website in the next few days. The CW also released the official description for the 10th episode of Season 1 of Superman Lois, titled Oh Mother Where Art Thou? In this episode, Lana reaches out to Lois and Clark when Kyle starts behaving strangely. Meanwhile, Jonathan opens up to Jordan. Lastly, Sierra storms out after accusing her mum of always covering for her dad. This episode is scheduled to air on the CW in the US on Tuesday, June 15th. The CW has released a new video in which Nicole Maines talks about being proud to be her most authentic self. Have a look. I am both human and alien, and I am a trans woman. It's so extraordinary to have this icon to give to my community and to be the first trans superhero on television. The greatest gift we can give each other is our authentic selves and sharing that. Getting to see that growth and seeing where she started and that first episode in season four where she reveals that she's half alien and she's introducing Brainiac and Kara to her powers. My family is from a planet called Naltor. Some of our women can dream the future. People who aren't even a part of the LGBTQ community have identified with her because I think Nia has struggles, of course, that are outside of her queerness and she is a character that everybody can relate to. And I am proud of all that I am. Should be. Supergirl will return for its final 13 episodes on Tuesday, August 24th. The crossover between DC Superhero Girls and Teen Titans Go aired on Cartoon Network this week, where the teen superheroes get together for a vacation crossover. Titled Space House, the one hour special saw the young superheroes take a spacecation inside a house careening through space. In a preview clip released by Cartoon Network, the young heroes find out about Brainiac's free vacation scheme. 
Space House, can you please tell us what is going on? Why don't you come outside and I'll show you? Hello, Titans! You've actually already met me through my nifty AI unit, Shady. But now, allow me to officially introduce myself. I am Brainiac, the multiverse's most brilliant mastermind! What's the meaning of this? For years, I have been collecting heroes and villains from across the multiverse by offering them the one thing they want most, a free vacation! In comic book news, DC sent out details on their upcoming blockbuster Infinite Frontier, the new DC miniseries launching on June 22nd. Picking up directly from Infinite Frontier number zero, when our heroes saved the multiverse from Perpetua and Dark Knight's death metal, everything was put back where it belonged, and we do mean everything. All the damage from all the crises was undone, and heroes long thought gone returned from whatever exile they had been in. Most of them at least. Alan Scott, the Green Lantern from the Justice Society of America, has noticed some of his allies are still missing in action, and he's determined to find them. There are others, though, who would rather remain hidden than explain themselves, like Roy Harper, aka Arsenal, a man who should, should be dead, but is not. What does it all mean for the DCU's place in the multiverse? On opposite sides of a dimensional divide, both Barry Allen and President Superman ponder this question, not to mention the dark side of it all. Or a team of multiversal heroes called Justice Incarnate. Infinite Frontier No. 1 publishes on June 22nd. DC Comics released their August 2021 solicitations this week and we highlighted for you all the Superman-related comics listed. A special note was Superman 78 No. 1, fly into director Richard Donner's Superman Once More in Superman 78, written by Robert Venditti and drawn by Wilfredo Torres. Superman 78 tells a brand new adventure in the world of the beloved film. A bright shining day in Metropolis is interrupted by a mysterious drone that crash lands in the city and starts wreaking havoc. This looks like a job for Superman. But where did the metallic menace come from? What is its purpose and who is Brainiac? And Action Comics 1034. The Warzoons make their way to the doorstep of the Fortress of Solitude and only Lois Lane and the alien girl Thao La are there to defend it. That's because Superman is halfway around the world trying to stop the US from declaring war on Atlantis. The man of still must make a tough choice, and odds are no one walks away happy. You can check out the complete list of all the Superman comic books coming out in August at our website. But the Superman comic books available this week from June 1st include Crime Syndicate number 4, which is available in a variant cover, Justice League number 62, which is also available in a variant cover, Suicide Squad number 4, also comes in a variant cover, Crypto the Superdog trade paperback, and Superman The Man of Steel Volume 3 hardcover. DC also continues the expansion of the DC Digital First publishing program with Ruby Justice League Chapter 11 available to download now. And our reviewers have already been hard at work submitting their reviews for these comic books with James Lance giving Justice League number 63 a 5 out of 5 rating saying Black Adam in this title is much like Wolverine in New Avengers. While Craig Boma reviewed Crime Syndicate number 4 saying this story has a lot of great plot threads that have drawn me into the overall story and he gave it a 5 out of 5 rating. And you can read both reviews in full at our website. Whether you're stuck at home or on a long road trip, these Superman and Justice League board games are fun for all the family. Get the DC Spyfall, the perfect party game. Find the Joker before the time runs out for $22.99. And how about the DC Superheroes Top Trumps Match Board Game, yours for $13.66. These and other Superman and DC board games are available through the Superman Homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com forward slash shop. Before we get into the rest of this week's news, if you're finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then you can become an official member of our YouTube channel with different levels of perks. All you have to do is click the join button below. Or you can become a sponsor through patreon.com slash Superman homepage. So in the rest of this week's news, Water Tower Music has released samples from the DC Superhero Girls animated series season one soundtrack, which is available to download via Apple Music. Here's a sample of one of the tracks.
Head to our website to order your copy of the DC Superhero Girls Season 1 Original Television Soundtrack and to hear more samples from this soundtrack. The Superman homepage Super Trivia Quiz has been updated for another month and the three questions we're asking you this time around are In the comic books, what form of jewellery did Lex Luthor create to keep Kryptonite on him at all times? What version of Kryptonite splits Kryptonians into an evil doppelganger? And which character accidentally created X kryptonite in comic book continuity? If you think you know the answers to all three questions, head to our website now and submit your answers. You'll find the Super Trivia Quiz under the Favourites menu. That's all the news there was for the week May 26th to June 1st. I'm Steve Eunice. I'll see you next week.